everybody, it's Annie at Monkey Shine Lab. Um, I am just gonna say it. And I'm having a shitty day, just in a bad mood. I need a break. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna take my frustrations out on something I'm gonna think I'm similar to Andre from the first 117 network on. I'm gonna build a transformer. It's a small one, but it's got 14 moves and gonna go from this to this. I'm gonna slide the camera up closer, hold it up over the table. I'm gonna pop this baby open and put it together. Here we go. Again, I think I'm a lot like Andre when it comes to transformers. I don't think I have a skill set in building these. I don't think I have the patience for them sometimes, but um, Without a doubt, I thought this was very cool looking. Very cool looking. And the from this to this look, I thought was rather cool. So here we go. Let's open some instructions first. I think this in incredibly tiny writing, because I wear glasses and I still can't hardly read it. This is the real guts of what I need. So, here we go. Oop, I just tore that off. Oops, okay. Step one, we'll be getting it out of the package, I guess. It's my work phone, there are people who answer that line. It's not like I'm ignoring work and not doing work. Um, as I say that, I'm gonna make sure it's not for me. I apologize, I, uh, and I do work in um, management, so I do have a team of people that work with me, so please do not think I'm slacking. I definitely put in 40 plus hours a week, every single week, so yeah, I told you it's a little after five and here, or four, and I'm taking a break from doing work. I'm gonna play with a transformer. I'm going to put this tail where it belongs in the hand. And I am going to show that this is what he looks like. There's also the ability to take this and put this here. Hold on. <laughs> It's just crazy. Okay, wait a minute. I'm on step. I don't even think I've started to step and I'm already confused. Hmm. I don't understand that right there. Okay, so this, I stuck it in his hand. But then directly below it, it shows it on his back. Like, how do you go from the hand to the back? Like, no conversation in between, just two images. And then we go to this, and then we go to step one. So, I, people, I am not crazy. Stuff is just weird. So, okay, number one, fold this down. Number two, fold that back. Maybe if I get smart, I'll go walk over there and turn it off. Um, people are super busy putting calls in. Hey, I'm off to a good start. I've gone all the way to step four. Step four. Hmm. I wonder, if, wonder if having that thing on its back was really important at any point. We'll find out, won't we? Okay, step four, pull that down. Step five, goes over.
six, seven, Yeah, Transformers, they do not show you what you're supposed to do. They do not. It's a lie and it's a myth that they are showing you what we need to be doing. I see it. I'm getting smarter now. This might have been the exact break I needed. Come over here and work on some trans balls. Oh, I just broke an arm off. something. Sometimes I think I can't do a transformer truly because I'm just not bending the right joint strong enough. I didn't realize. So this was interesting. Basically, I'll demonstrate on myself. I was trying to move the arm, but I needed to move the shoulder. So there was a joint in here that was really tight. So I'm sitting here spinning the ball of the arm around but in reality, there was a piece in here that I needed to click to pop it backwards. And then that rolling shoulder could lay where it needed to. So um, I don't think I can show that very well in how small it is, but I did it. The, the fact is I've got the two arms laying back. Oh, yes, I can show it. It's here where the shoulder pops out because if I was to turn it back, I would need to pop that shoulder. Anyhow, it's right there. It's in this part. This part was over here on the side and I had to push it over here. And then the arms from the shoulder right here could lay down, if that makes sense. So I'm on step nine. Um, Oh, what the heck? Two moves I need down. Oh, what the heck? down hands in sorry you're not seeing anything on my screen anymore sorry 
Um, so I've got the arms down, hands in. So we're getting somewhere, slowly but surely. We're kind of half between each of these. So, okay. So at this point in time, these feet come down. These feet come under. And I have the tail on. Oh, oh my God, you guys, this is really funny. Look, those are, these are the hands. And here's the tail and the butt. So when I pop this tail in, this is gonna make me laugh. I'm gonna really giggle. He could catch his poop. So I did it. I did transform him, I believe, all 14 steps. I will set him on the table here. He is badass looking like I expected. So, two things. I did a 14 step transformer in less than one step a minute. That's good news. Um, I stopped thinking about work for a few minutes, which I needed that mental health. And most of all, I made a kick ass transformer. I'm sorry, but from that to that. I love it. He's really cool. So I would recommend any of you who do want to find a small gift for someone out there that this um, drag, I don't even know what he was called. I'm sorry. I ripped it apart too. Oh, drag, Dragodon, the Dragodon. I recommend the Dragodon. I don't think it was more than $9 and some odd cents. So $10. It was really fun. I think it was easy to do. And I do think my grandkids could handle this one. Um, so again, without any issue, I do think I made a transformer. Didn't piss me off too bad. And if you go over and check out Andre's video of putting together the transformer, um, I think I ended up happier. And I didn't need to get drunk to do it. <laughs> Sorry, Andre. Uh, anyhow, like, share, subscribe. Please let us know things you'd like to see us do. Um, this channel is only going to grow by your comments, your sharing, your talking about us. Um, I'm going to be really honest. Cameron works really hard on this channel. I not quite as hard, but I do care. Anyhow. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm having fun helping Cameron and being a part of Monkey Shine Lab and the First 117 Network. I also don't think we ever share that we have an email. So if you ever want to email Cameron or I, our email is monkeyshinelab at gmail.com. Again, if you want to reach out to Cameron or I, it's monkeyshinelab at gmail.com. And um, we're grateful for you. We're thankful for you. And... Um, so many good friends are coming through this. The bigger reward is every one of you who comments and every one of you who has engaged and participated with us. I, I feel like I'm part of a community now all of a sudden. And um, I like that. YouTube, it's an interesting place to be, right? Anyhow, love to all. Take care. I feel like I need to start saying bye there.